I would like to welcome all of our students back to school, back to Miami East High School for the 2021-2022 school year. Over the course of the next few moments, I will be going over a few important items for the start of the school year. First, I ask that all of our students uh, familiarize themselves with the student handbook that is located inside your agenda planner. Please make sure to read over all of the information contained within the student handbook. I ask that you pay special attention to the dress code, discipline procedures, and attendance. I also encourage all of our students to use their agenda planners to keep track of homework. This can be a great resource to help stay organized. Moving on to morning arrival, I ask that students uh, not arrive to Miami East High School uh, before 7.20 a.m. unless other arrangements have been made with a staff member. Students, you may use your lockers as you arrive to school, and I ask that students make their way to first period classes at around 7.30 a.m. I would like for students to keep from congregating in the hallways before school. If a parent is dropping off only a high school student in the morning, they may do so by entering the high school from 589 and then proceeding to the south doors to the high school that are located between Miami East High School and the board building. High school students are reminded that they are not allowed to drive behind the K-8 building in the morning. If a high school student is dropping off someone at the K-8 building in the morning, they will need to go back out onto 589 and then come back to park at the high school. Student parking. Seniors and fall athletes, as well as band members, may park in the back parking lot behind Miami East High School. I ask that the first row of parking spots please be reserved for staff members only. All other students should park in the front of the board office. There is no student parking in the front row of the board building parking lot. Also, there is no student parking in front of Miami East High School at any time. Student locker use. Students may use lockers before and after school. Students with even number lockers will use their lockers after even periods. Students with odd number lockers will use their lockers after odd periods. Students may also use lockers before and after lunch. Meeting period. This year, meeting period will be at the conclusion of fourth period and will be 19 minutes in length. At 10.35 a.m., we will recite the pledge and read any announcements. This is also the time for advisors and coaches and teachers to have any meetings that they wish. After announcements, students not attending a meeting should be silently reading or working on schoolwork. This is also a time students could seek assistance from teachers as well. We want meeting period to be a very productive use of time for our students and for our staff members. Moving on to lunch procedures. First, it is very important to note that a type A student lunch is available to all students for free this year. We encourage our students to take advantage of this opportunity. This year, we will have two lunch periods. We will have two lunch lines available for students. The left side line will be for juniors and freshmen. The right-hand line will be for sophomores and for seniors. The left-hand line will form using the stage area. The right-hand line will form using the gymnasium. 
We will also be using the lecture hall, cafeteria, and gym for lunch seating this year to spread our students out. Seniors will eat in the lecture hall. Juniors and sophomores will eat in the cafeteria. Sophomores and freshmen will eat in the gymnasium. Gymnasium seating, we will use the home section as well as the Blue Crew section. We will use rows A, C, E, and G only, and we will space students out, asking that only about five students be in a row per each section. Uh, we ask that we maintain at least four feet of space in between each student. Uh, these will be the lunch procedures we'll follow to begin the school year. These procedures are subject to change. Students will have assigned seats. Um, we're going to allow students to choose their seats the first day of school. Students will use hand sanitizer upon entering the lunch line. Students will remain seated unless throwing away trash or using the restroom. Students are to only use the restrooms outside the lecture hall during lunch. Students that are eating in the gym should not use the restrooms in the art hallway during lunch. Only the lecture hall restrooms will be used. Students will not congregate in groups in any lunchroom space. And upon entering the lunchroom, if you have packed a lunch, you may go directly to a lunch seat. Dismissal. We will stagger afternoon dismissal one minute apart. Car riders and car drivers will dismiss at 227. Bus riders will dismiss at 228. Students may use lockers at the end of the day. Bus riders should make their way to the back of the high school in a timely manner. We ask that our students and families monitor student health at all times. Uh, if you are sick, have a fever, we would ask that you stay home. In the event of extended absences from school, uh, we encourage you to fill out the extended absence form. You can use the QR code on this video to get to that link. The link can also be found on the Miami's High School website. This will notify the teachers of your extended absence and will also allow them to communicate with you via either hard copy request for work or through Google Classroom, which is our preference. Vacations during the school year are discouraged, but if you do need to vacation during the school year, a vacation request form may be picked up from Mrs. Hall in the high school office. Please do so about a week in advance of the scheduled absence. College career visit forms. In general, we approve at least two visits for juniors and seniors each year. I will entertain more requests if they are made. Please pick up a college career visit form from Mrs. Hall in the office, and we would ask that this be turned in, completed, and signed by all teachers three days in advance of the absence for the visit. Students are reminded that we have a 100% homework assignment completion expectation here at the high school. Our teachers each have their own classroom guidelines centered around this expectation. Students should know that Mr. Vanover is available to assist with homework completion during their study halls. Mr. Vano Vanover will be happy to assist and answer any homework questions you have. Mr. Vanover will also be working closely with teachers to make certain students are completing and turning in all of their assignments. 
Students, if you ever have questions or concern, your school counselors and the administration is available. Mrs. Sager is our new grade nine and 10 counselor here at the high school. Mr. Rutledge will be our grade 11 and grade 12 counselor. Mr. Donaldson is our assistant principal AD and I am your principal. So at any time you need to see us, you may request to come see us and we will be more than happy to speak with you. Don't hesitate to come see us for any reason. And lastly, I just want to encourage all of our students to get involved. Whatever activity it is, please just get involved and show that Viking spirit. We're looking forward to a great start to the 2021-2022 school year and can't wait to see the great things all of you have in store for this school year.